We just got to, you know, try to execute and just uh, be physical. And guys, I need to be solid on their assignments this week. Give everything they have. So. Is there a correlation to, to how SC plays as to how Arizona State plays? Um, their physical front, they'll get after it, try to get upfield, play, use their hands fairly well. Um, um, high motor guys, you know, these guys I'd say take a little uh, fewer plays off. I mean, you don't see them take very many plays off, and they don't they don't set themselves out. You know, every now and again a guy come in, but for the most part, the guys stay on the field and they play at a high level. What do you tell that? Is uh, ASU and USC? Uh, in terms of what's, what they just came out of talent wise, uh, I'd say this front is just probably a little bit better overall. You know, believe it or not, you know, there's some things that we had. Um, the things we had in place in terms of what Noel was doing schematically, you know, things were good. Up front, we just didn't execute uh, individually at times and, uh, you know, individual or collectively, I, I, I'd say, and um, that causes some problems, obviously. The way they kind of attacked Scott a little bit with Sutton, uh, do you anticipate that kind of being the case again? With yeah, I mean, you know, if I'm, I talk about it all the time, you know, if going into the game, because what we see on film, you know, this is what you shouldn't anticipate. And uh, why wouldn't you do that? You know, regardless of what anybody size is, you're talking about two guys that, you know, talking about some guys that are inexperienced. And um, we're in a situation similar to where we were last year, you know, where we have to play those guys. But um, they're up for it. They're going to go in there and compete. And just it's their job to go in there and, and do the best that they can to play, the, play it like they're capable of playing. Do you say anything to Caleb and Alex and Scott after a game like that? It seems like they kind of took it hard a little bit at the well, Caleb played pretty. Caleb played pretty well. Mm-hmm. You know, interior, interior wise, we had some issues. Um, but the thing is, it is what it is, and, and I tell them all the time: nobody's coming in to save you. And, you know, it's one of those things you have to challenge yourself. You know, you have to get better every day. And there's nobody behind you that's pushing you to get better. You need to do it. You know, and you need to find something within that's going to drive you. Um, they're, it's not one of those things they're jogging off the sideline, they're looking at me, you know, feeling sorry for themselves. They know they got to go back out there the next the next series. So um, there's no time for sorry for themselves. They just have to get after it. They need to stay the course, and regardless of what happens, they need to remain focused and they need to compete and try to play at a high level every single play. Hmm. From a recruiting standpoint, how much easier is it to recruit when you win this rivalry? When you win, sir? Um, very good. I think there's a lot of guys on the bubble. You know, some guys that maybe we've been ahead for, but they have a little bit of a. Uh, uh, you know, a little momentum right now, and you know, our kids are a little, little bit of front runners, whatever is the, the hot thing at the moment, you know, they roll with. So, I think it is important. Um, that's something that's not lost upon us, but I mean, it's not the focal point. But I think uh, winning this game goes a long way on both ends. You know, there's some guys that are sitting there, and I suspect that there could be commitments, in, you know, next week either way. And there could be some guys over there that fall off, some guys over here that fall off, but um, that's, you know, not something that we're focused on at this point, but obviously, that'll be the point of emphasis next week. Is it a little harder for, for younger players to maybe get, get over a bad game like ASU and move on to the next one? Um, yeah, you worry about that a little bit. You know, they're a little fragile, uh, some of those guys. You know, they worry that they let the team down and, um, you know, how people perceive them. You know, they just haven't been around football enough to know that guys understand that you're going to have your plays. Uh, you know, I think as a group, you have nine, obviously, not all nine were ours, but it's going to fall on our shoulders just be, you know, to the naked eye of the people that don't understand, you know, football. But, uh, you know, the perception is reality, and that's what it is. And I told those guys, you need to go out there and you need to prove to, you know, prove to yourself. You know, we have a visit. within this room, you need to go out there and show it to everybody else, uh, regardless of what their age is. They, you know, a lot of those guys have played, well, I don't even know how many games they have played so far, but they played a number of games, and they're not really freshmen anymore. You know, Scott's a little bit behind in terms of, uh, you know, reps. But in, in terms of being a mature kid and a kid that can have certain things that comes from a certain background, you know, certain family, different things like that, that is pretty mentally tough, and I just expect him to rebound from it. You know, do I think he's going to have a perfect game? No, he's probably going to have pressures and different things of that nature, but I, I, I would anticipate or I would hope that it wouldn't be anything like last game. You know, I think it was, um, we knew what it was. And then, you know, Simon uh, probably could have came back a little bit earlier. Uh, not a little earlier, but I mean, he probably could have got, you know, did like last year, play a quarter or two and take him out and different things like that. But my thing was, I wanted to get him in there, I wanted to put X inside just to shore things up. And, you know, unfortunately, Simon broke, you know, had a major injury and he had to go out, so it wasn't something that we weren't that we were hoping for. for. We didn't anticipate, uh, you know, potentially occurring. It just, you know, it is what it is, you know. And just uh, unfortunately, he didn't play um, uh, as we would like, but he did do some things well and some things that he could build on. And you know, I try to focus on those things throughout the week. Simon obviously dealt with that nagging knee injury for so long. How hard did you? See him take this serious leg injury. Uh, it, take it it's very hard. hard for him because you know he can't catch a break. You know, last year he battled through it, fought through it. Uh, 
don't think people would realize, you know, you look at him, he's whatever he is, 6'8", 320, and you look at him, you think he's a grown-ass man, but he's a little, you know, he's a little kid. And for him to do what he did last year, that's like what guys in the league do, you know, they push through it. And guys are playing, you know, for the kids and the families, different things like that. It's kind of funny they did that, you know, didn't really practice during the week, just show up on game day and then, you know, go out and play. Um, you know, this year I want to protect him a little bit more. It's the second time he, he had the same thing, and um, he's feeling pretty good, actually did pretty well when he first got in there. And then obviously having that type of injury and, um, you know, it wasn't anything dirty, just somebody rolled up on the back of him and it just, it just felt bad for him. You know, he's going to be out for a long time and just, you know, you don't really know what the future holds in terms of he'll be back. But you know, from a mental standpoint, you know, that kind of messes with you a little bit. Mm-hmm. And just, uh, you know, hopefully he can recover from that. You know, we visited him in the hospital the other day, he was in good spirits. But obviously right after the game, he was real shook up about it, you know, mm-hmm. kind of a why me type thing. Mm-hmm. And just, you know, what do you, you know, what do you really say to him? You know, it's just tough. Mm-hmm.